What's good, homie squad? It's your boy, homie Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. And as you see by this thumbnail, we here with Denji Chainsaw Man versus Ash Williams Evil Dead rap battle. Throw that away. Now, you already know. With these rap battles, it's by none other than Freshy Canal. And I gotta say, whenever Freshy Canal does a rap battle, these be some interesting characters he picks cause whether it be anime versus movie or certain characters, certain like comic book character versus comic book character or hell even when I was just literally looking at his most popular ones when I saw like NF versus Billie Eilish the fact that he even did artists an artist versus an artist so hey it just goes to show you with Freshy Canal he be doing some battles that you wish that could ever happen in real life but but still at the end of the day it's interesting to see don't mind me being half look here i'm not all the way naked i got on shorts so don't hope y'all don't mind me being half shirtless and such or shirtless at all and such but either way look here either way i'm still making sure i put out video whether shirtless or not so Hope y'all don't mind this, but either way, we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Spoilers for the Chainsaw Man manga. I don't care. And that's all. This battle is featuring two people by the name of and hope I'm saying this first one right. Switzki, Switzki, and Snake Bite One Twenty Six. So Ash. I don't like you primitive screwhead Here's why you lived in a dude's shed Got no true friends, no food bread And you're too obsessed with huge breasts Now you're spoon fed in someone else's home You're faker than the first chest you grow When Ash is over you'll be set in stone I'm smashing skulls while you're fetching bones Those motors and your dumb brain sure make a loud enough sound But once all your blood drains and your power runs out You call up Makima's house to get you out of the pound The last nail in Naki's coffin Have him down from the count Your life is a pain to live from the age of six Now your babysit all the crap Crazy chicks, the love that you're looking for ain't your pay rate. How ironic you couldn't bang raise eight. So I Hold up. So you know what? Let me take this back a little bit more. Because I want to see who is who. So hold on. Yes, this is going to spoil for me, but I don't care. I want to see who is who. So give me a second. So. So Switzki is Ash Williams, Evil Dead, and Snake Bike 126 is Digi. Okay. If you're primitive screwhead, here's why you lived in a dude's shed. Got no true friends, no food bread, and you're too obsessed with huge breasts. Now you're spoon fed. I mean, what's wrong with that? <laughs> what's wrong with what's wrong with huge breasts? Even though most of the times they be fake, but who knows? Them could be all natural. I don't care. Someone else is home, you're faker than the first chest you grow. When Ash is over, you'll be set in stone. Damn. Hold up. You're faker than the first breast you grow? Damn. What you, why you get, why you shouting off at power for? What did she do? Oh, you can't say it, you can't prove that. Now you're spoon fed in someone else's home. You're faker than the first chest you grow. When Ash is over, you'll be set in stone. I'm smashing skulls while you're fetching bones. Those motors and your dumb brain sure make a loud enough sound. Damn. But once all your blood drains and your power runs out, you can call up Makima's house to get you out of the pound. The last nail in Naki's coffin, have him down from the count. Your life is a pain to live from the age of six. Now you babysit all the crazy chicks. The love that you're looking for ain't your pay rate. How ironic you couldn't bang raise eight. So I'll sign for an opening move. No slow start, got no motor to boot. I'm a crow stick with my boomstick And this shit does a kickback too Bro with that verse, you can mold back yes. Cause the dad joke devil off a of contract uh. You already rap first, but it should be trash Not even that deer head would cough out a laugh <laughs> Why don't you get your cabin crew? Cause you choked like a dead I just strangled you But this is the last time your ass gets bruised Cause your show got canned like Campbell soup Call me bro, you were practically funded On family budget, you should have that travel refunded What is- Mmm, call it me poor Hold on, what you said? This is the last time your ass gets bruised, cause your show got canned like Campbell's soup! Call me, bro, you were practically funded on- You were practically funded on family budget, Hey, I mean, Deji was poor, don't get me wrong, I mean, literally. 
the, the first episode of Chainsaw Man, what we saw this nigga living in was in a freaking shed. But at least this nigga was, I guess you can say in a way, at least he was on his own. He was trying to find out the world. At least he can say whatever he was doing, it was on his own, no help or anything. Nigga, the fact that you had to literally get spoon fed, you can say, because saying that you were practically funded on budget, family budget, meaning that nigga, you were basically spoon fed for situations you were in. Now, I don't know much of Evil Dead, so don't slander me in the comments and such. So any bars that he's so any bars that Benji is gonna come after him at just let me just clue me in and search and I'm just gonna go off of that family budget you should have that travel refunded what did the review say grade A grade lace in a satanic dungeon the most unoriginal horror location did you book it with Jason I had to live the way I Jason Voorhees okay. the most unoriginal horror location did you book it with Jason I had to live the way I did you write in that cabin by choice for vacation all crew with me music gets cut from the waist it gets split up your teamwork is trash Let's have a guy to say hmm, maybe we split up you ancient hot one angel touch but you'd agent rust and then change your dust I'm glad that you wouldn't chain the cuz in a brawl I only aim for nuts I wouldn't talk hey, about pause what you mean by that what you mean you just only aim for hey yo I know that's probably spun that's probably spoilers from manga, cause I don't know. Hey yo, what you mean by that? Look, and for people who gonna wanna say spoilers for me in the manga, look here. At this point, like I said, I'm still living in Jamaica right now, so I can't be able to watch any anime at the moment. Cause I can't be able to afford paying for a certain anime moments or whatnot. So basically like this for me. So right now I'm at a complete loss of what anime to be adjusted to and so and so so yeah but the point is hey yo I'm glad that you wouldn't chain the cuz in a brawl I only aim for nuts I wouldn't talk about family budget yeah. with how your daddy was hustling yeah. you ended up balls deep selling your nest to the public Is it by oh yeah I remember that one yeah the fact that that nigga literally did this is how sometimes with Denji he ain't the sharpest of tools, yeah, like, like he said at his first rebuttal. Okay, so that one I have to give it to... I would have to give it to Ash, cause, yeah, Denji, cause let's face it, nigga. Denji sometimes a... Not, let me not say sometimes, he ain't always up there. But sometimes he does have gems of... At least he's being real, but sometimes this nigga will do crazy chaotic stuff for money i mean literally like he just said you you talking about nuts you literally had to sell your nuts the man at one point in that literally in the first episode this man well even though he technically didn't but this man was eat this man had to eat a cigarette for some money would literally have to eat would literally eat a cigarette for some money even though he didn't but still this goes to show you with Denji, sometimes he is screwball. And he was hustling, you ended up balls deep, selling your nest to the public. His dip pile got so high, I could climb out of the witch pit with it. With a freaked in business, I love the drink and turn him to a lifting spirit. I've been cooking in hell, don't give Jesus the wheel. Your biggest achievement was eating a meal. I bet you watched all of my movies and thought, he's just like me for real. I missed an army of darkness, they vanished. A single one left all your partners with psychological damage. One from the vision four, to none of the bracket. His doggy is rabbit, he's mocking his bitch. She makes him do what he fears most. She makes him do what he fears most. Vision four to none of the brack. His doggy is rabbit, he's mocking his bitch. She makes him do what he fears most. Even after he killed all his friends, his body count is still zero. Maybe call it a loose in your collar, but she wants to leave you an empty heart. Ripped it out before the first day, you got road less than Kobe's car. You want to start the gun apocalypse? Who is he trying to compensate? My bars are sicker than your vomit kiss. So you probably want to swallow this. You hey, impress me. When I saw that vomit kiss scene, Bro, they had to literally say it was so nasty that they had to literally censor it. When I watched it on Crunchyroll, they literally censored that part. Like, bro. And that was his first one. 
That was his first kiss from a girl. I don't care, drunk or not. That was his first kiss from a girl. Or just from a woman in general. But nigga, still, ugh. Imagine that. Imagine if you're dingy. That you're, even if you've never kissed a girl in your entire life, right? This is your first time. And the first time you remembered it was freaking vomit. That will be nasty. I cannot tell you how na nigga. And you know what's the stupidest part this nigga gonna say about how, is that how kisses are? Nigga, no they are they not. Trust me. I've kissed girls in my lifetime. And I've been, trust me when I tell you. They do not, hey, they're from, from my kisses and such. They don't taste like vomit, that's for damn sure. So, but can I blame? But can you blame the G? Like, like I said, it's his first time. It was his first time kissing a girl. But the fact that he, but the fact that that's gonna be in his memory and such. That the first time he kissed a girl that tasted like vomit. Nigga, that will ruin. It's a good thing Maki trying to put it on the Mingo. Gonna have to make that nigga earn it. Even though this is spoiling certain things. Nigga, it's just like this with certain manga spoilers and such by the time when I even get to watch the anime and plus with months go by when I'm either working at a job at a real life job or watching other anime you think I'm going to remember any manga spoilers and such hell no loosen your collar but she wants to leave you an empty heart you ripped it out before the first day you got road less and go Betty's car you want to start the gun apocalypse too busy trying to compensate my bars are sicker than your vomit kiss so you probably want to swallow this you want to talk about getting groomed look at what your writers put out there the plants outside your window only grow when they're chasing a no-no square oh no, the last ain't feeling so groovy ain't floor getting back as much as your movies my blade wars and it makes you a smoothie it ain't hard to catch you better than your blue screen with the beam to his head now it's sharp eight six feet in an unmarked grave i've met I met evil, you met devil. That's good. That was just good writing right there. I met evil, you met devil. Hold up. Brave, I met devil. I met, I met evil, you went medieval. Medieval. That's good writing. Right? Oh, you are met devil. Don't talk to me about the dark age. Never bring any Hannibal level of devil's ass. Never roll over ends. Definitely never class. Never being met on this heaven and never last. Just like an intended and a terrible president. You get swallowed up whole in this battle. There's nothing that's left to finish. But I didn't have to devour you to make everybody forget you existed. To me personally, and this doesn't have to be my bias right here, but for me, I would have to take that, I would have to give that to Denji, because like I said, I don't know much of, I've never watched Evil Dead, and like I say, don't, for the ones who do watch it, don't slander me in the comments, it's just my, because I've watched Chainsaw Man, well, mostly like the first episode, like mostly the certain episodes that I've got to, so I'm going to be in bias of the ones that I've actually watched before I give my opinion on certain ones that I haven't watched or barely even remember. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. Let me know who you think won and tell me why. But yeah, it's been your boy Homer Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.